Ask and you shall receive. It's time for some more r slash scrap mechanic. Thruster engine, what y'all think? I think these sort of things are pretty cool. I've never really gotten around to building one of them myself, but I do wonder how powerful they actually are. Like it's a lot more convenient to just slap on an electric engine if you need a lot of torque. So I'm a little bit curious how difficult it is to actually build a moving car that works on a thruster engine like this. Especially because the bigger the engine, the more weight that you have to push. So I'm sort of wondering like, where's the breaking point? Is there a point where it's just too big? Or how small can you actually get one of these to work? Here we've got a totally real DVD screensaver. DVD, 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 DVD. <laughs> now this one just says WTF scrap mechanic. What do we got? Another issue? Put down a tote bot capsule in the middle of some blocks and... Wait, what? Wait, what? It, I mean, they're playing with a mod, but this is all just vanilla parts. What? <laughs> what? Blocks are just disappearing? And you gotta repaint them. What happened? So a small capsule works just fine, but if the capsule fit in the area, is it because the visual model was in the way of the blocks? What's going on here? What, like, I'm... I'm <laughs> I'm also thinking like WTF scrap mechanic, what was that? If you think tape bots are hard, just get good at parrying, shake my head. Shaking my head. Parrying? Pa parrying? What is parrying? Wait, what? Wait, what? It... Is he punching them from a distance? <laughs> I mean, you're still almost dying, but what? Oh, but okay, no, parrying is like reflecting the shot back at them with your fist? Uh, launch a roll of tape at me, I'll punch it back at you. <laughs> the timing, I'm not sure. You might be very forgiving on the timing there. Are you sure it's just not a mod that shoots a, a projectile out of your fist? Or are you actually parrying? Because the timing seems a little bit off there, I'm not sure, or like the, the position seems a little bit off. Like you could parry something that wasn't gonna hit you in the first place. Either way, I think this is actually pretty cool. Warehouses wouldn't be so scary if you actually had the ability to parry the shots coming at you. So I'm all for that, 100%. I, I would like to parry the tape bot shots. I think I just made a flying saucer by accident. All right, they're building a challenge. Challenge mode builder. What is this? <laughs> just a large, what is this? Are you trying to bell? Ah, uh, scrap mechanic. <laughs> so it looks like they have a massive build on a piston or something. Do pistons even reach that far? What? What is happening? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> F14 Tomcat in scrap mechanic. I'm not much of a plane guy, but uh, I, I can tell this is like a fighter jet. Very cool looking plane. They put a lot of work into it. Insane amounts of detail. Not sure what that thing in the back is, but I'm sure if you're a plane expert, you can let me know in the comments. Very nice looking cockpit view. Oh, and co-pilot view too. Okay. Oh, and it even has the transforming wings. Just like in the old game, Star Fox. Working landing gear and everything. Oh, and they're showing the reason why they have the pistons. So it's a surface that will look like it's part of the wing, but it has no collision, so it can transform just fine. Finally, I take this out. Uh, what are we looking at here? Uh, the beacon or? Oh no, wait, it's kind of, okay, this thing coming out of the elevator. It's the crane, the, <laughs> the entire, how did, wait, how did you actually do this? <laughs> The big crane from the storage areas in the warehouse. How did you get that out of the warehouse? But now that you have it on your lift, you can take it apart. My goodness. And over here, we've got a contraption. It's almost hypnotic. Uh, what? Cool. That, wait, you. this is a massive creation too. Look at that, that in the back. My goodness, it just keeps on spawning more and more balls. So this is like a massive kind of like marble run type thing. Oh, and there's even that switcher thing to send the ball down to each side. 
I wouldn't say this is almost hypnotic. I would say it is hypnotic. Oh, very cool stuff. I'm liking it. And here we get my unintended solution to one of the Bot Factory 2 challenges. Bot Factory 2. Oh, I see what it is. Dude, I've got to play this challenge. Looks like I've got some more challenges to play. So what is their unintended solution here? Robot drives up. Grabs. Grabs the bridge that it's supposed to be driving on. Uh, okay. Is that... Oh, oh, you're, you're cheating. You're, <laughs> you've got a little bit of cheese. Yeah, yeah, quote unquote unintentional. You totally intended to do that. <laughs> Good stuff though. If you've seen me play challenge mode, I definitely love cheese. Truly one of the games of all time. And then the mechanic builds a car out of scrap metal and scrap parts to drive to the mechanic station, thus claiming the title of scrap mechanic. <laughs> What is this even from? Why is everything on fire? And he doesn't care, he just keeps on writing. You can duck under incoming tape with good timing. What? Oh. Oh. Why have I never tried this? I've had so much trouble in warehouses, but I've never once thought of actually trying this. I mean, just get good at parrying, shaking my head. No, that's definitely very useful info. Gotta keep that in mind. So I made a loop to proof of concept for art class. Looks like it works. Looks like it I works. what? All right. Interesting pump, kind of like uh, simulating some fluid dynamics. So you can pump the balls. Oh, and there's like a valve on a piston there, I see. It prevents it from going back the other way. So you can pump the balls up the pipe just to be fed back down into the pipe. Interesting stuff, interesting stuff. Very cool to look at, kind of mesmerizing. I created a platform that flies into the air, does two flips, and lands itself. All oh, this I gotta see. Up it goes. Already starting to flip. That's one flip. That's two flips. No way, really? Were they even trying to build that? Or did they just get lucky? <laughs> that de definitely looks like an accidental thing. Hey, and here we go, we got a real spud gun in action. All right, increasing the pressure in the tank. It even has a scope and everything. Even kind of sounds like a spud gun too. That's pretty cool. Oh, here we go. Fast thruster engine. Yeah, this is what I was wondering. Like, how small can you make these thruster powered engines? These piston... And is this... That's going insanely fast. But is it able to actually drive a car? I'm really curious about how much power this thing has. That's pretty small, pretty compact. Is this how you fly a plane? I don't know, I'm not a pilot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, I'm not much of a pilot either. My, is this <laughs> Maybe with a strong enough gust of wind, something like this is possible, but... Only in Scrap Mechanic, huh? Only, only in Scrap Mechanic you'd see this. Guys, I found an epic Easter egg. <laughs> it's just a walk upside down named Dinner Bone? Wait, what? Wait, is this actually an Easter egg? Wait, what? I gotta read the comments on this for a second. What? All right, so reading the comments a little bit, it seems like it was modded. It's not actually an Easter egg in the game. Although that would be pretty cool to see that kind of a Minecraft reference in Scrap Mechanic. And the last post that we're gonna be checking out today, I did not expect to re-rail at all. Re-rail? Re-rail? Re... -rail? re, -rail? re Oh, oh, okay, okay. Weirdly shaped rocket, okay. Whoa, that was smooth. My goodness. For that to go as perfectly as it did, that was pretty insane luck. I mean, maybe the way that they built it, they can do it again and again, but the thrusters have a little bit of randomness to them, so this is actually really impressive. All right, that's it for this r slash scrap mechanic video. Leave a like on this video if you want to see some more r slash scrap mechanic. Let me know down in the comments below which was your favorite post. But that's it for today, folks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.